We're getting ready to enter the season of Lent. Once again, Ash Wednesday is upon us. And I think for most of us, when we know Ash Wednesday is coming, we kind of fall into the same old habits. I'll give up chocolate again. That's what I've done the last few years. I'll stop drinking coffee. Maybe I'll say a few extra prayers. We fall back into what's been comfortable, what we've done in the past. And while that's not necessarily a bad thing, this Lent I'm challenging all of us to go that extra step, to do something different that we haven't done before. You know, Lent's not just a time to give something up. While sacrifice is great and it's important, Lent's also a time to change on the inside. Maybe Lent is a great time for me to take up spiritual reading. Maybe Lent's a great time for me to start going to daily Mass. Maybe I can't make it five days out of the week, but at least one. Maybe Lent's a great time to be reconciled with that relative I haven't spoken to, to reach out to that person in my office that I had an argument with, etc., etc. As Lent begins again this year, it's time for all of us to ask ourselves the question, what am I going to do to make Lent different? Lent is our spiritual desert, our time to be away from all the distractions so we can hear the voice of God. And for that to happen, we need to make something different. You know, none of us can get on a plane and fly out to a desert to spend 40 days there like the Lord did, so that we can block out all those distractions to hear the voice of God. But by changing our daily routine, by giving something up, by adding something, by reaching out to someone, we shake up things just enough that we have a little bit of that desert experience ourselves, that place of quiet and solitude that we can better hear the voice of God. And at the end of the day, that's what Lent is all about to create that desert experience on the inside by changing up our daily routine so that we can better hear and more importantly respond to God's voice in our lives. This coming Sunday, on the first Sunday of Lent, we'll hear the familiar story of the temptation of Jesus, how the devil tempted him while he was in the desert. Lent is also a time we grapple with our own temptations. But as we'll hear in the gospel, Jesus triumphed over those temptations because he had that desert experience. He was able to hear and be solidified in his relationship with the Father so that he could resist the devil's subtlety, the devil's temptations, the devil's tricks. That's why that desert experience is so important for you and me. Because without having that time to connect with God, without changing up our schedule so that we're more open, more available, more receptive to his voice, you and I are not going to resist those temptations like we're called to. Temptation is real. We all deal with it. Lent is a time for us to have that desert experience, to learn from the Lord himself, so that by being more closely connected to the Lord and being able to hear his voice more clearly, then we're able to resist those temptations and to turn our lives back to him. We come up to get our ashes on Ash Wednesday. More than likely, the priest or deacon or Eucharistic minister will say to us, turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. That's what Lent calls us to do, to change, to be different, to make this season something special. As we get ready to celebrate Ash Wednesday once again and to enter into Lent, the question is, what will we do to make it special, to make it different, to have that desert experience that you and I can better hear the Lord's voice and to truly turn our lives back to Him? Not a sermon or homily, but just something for all of us to think about.